The time is now to bring your donations to TV44. We're gearing up for this year's auction, and we need your items now to make it a success. Furniture, collectibles, antiques, tools, vehicles, mowers, anything of value. Drop-offs accepted Monday through Thursday, 10 till 3. Call for Friday hours, 419-339-4444. Donate your items now to the TV44 auction. Hello and welcome to the TV44 Auction Show. I'm Abby. I'm Grace. I'm Nathan. I'm Anna. The TV44 Auction is coming up September 10th, and today we want to show you some of the great items that will be up for bid. Everything you see here in this dining room set has been donated for the auction table with three leaves, chairs, hutch, and sideboard. It's really nice. What do you think? It's a nice set. It's a nice set. Let's throw it to Mark and Jennifer. They have more auction items to tell us about. Well, thank you. And we'll have more from Abby and Grace, Nathan and Anna coming up later in today's show. As you can see, some more of the items that will be up for bid on the TV44 auction, including a faux fireplace with a working light and Holland Grills once again have donated a number of grills as the auction is coming up September the 10th right here at 1844 Beatty Road. We set up a huge tent. You really, you can't miss it. It's a fun day. Plan to attend whether you think you'll bid or not because all in all, it is a great family event. Here's the planned schedule for the day. Registration will open at 8.30 a.m. Parking will be on the north side of our station. Um, the auction starts at 9. 10 o'clock is going to be sports memorabilia. 12 o'clock trips. 2 o'clock cars and furniture items will be auctioned all day, so you should just plan to be here all day long. Of course, we'll have the garage set and the boutique open. We'll have food available. Our goal is to be finished by four, but we will keep going until every auction item is sold. Before we get started showing you some of this year's items, we want to remind you that this is a fundraising auction. 100% of the proceeds are used to further the ministry of TV44. Also, there is still time for you to bring in your donations. We'll accept donations Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Now let's get started taking a look at some of this year's items, including some of the things we are using right now on this set. That's right. These cow, this this chair, this love seat, and a matching couch, all from Autoville Hardware and Furniture, are among the brand new furniture items that you can bid on September 10th. You see a nice, lovely brown leather set. We also have got some high back chairs donated by the Autoville Hardware and Furniture. Some blue upholstered chairs. Perhaps you're redoing the living room, redoing the decor of the house. Great way to get set up right here at TV 44's auction on September the 10th. Very comfortable, I might add. Those are nice looking and comfortable as well. You saw that dining room set earlier as the kids opened the show. Well, that will be available for bid. The table has three leaves. That has six chairs. The hutch is lighted and beautiful. Uh, chair, it's all cherry wood. That sideboard, just just gorgeous items. You know, and those who have attended the auction for a number of years know that you, you can usually find some wonderfully exquisite handwork, woodworked items by Ernie Hollenbacher, and this year is no different. He has donated a butcher block as well as a rolling cart. So perhaps some items for your kitchen. How about something for your guest bedroom? We have a daybed trundle bed, hardly been used at all. There you see the daybed portion of it, and hiding underneath is the twin trundle bed that will roll right out anytime you need it. Yeah, great thing if you're perhaps redoing a guest room, or maybe you've got a, an empty room all of a sudden because the kids have moved out, so the daybed trundle bed could be an option for you. Maybe you're looking for decor of a cradle from Painter Custom Woodworking, the Afghan will come with it as well, or you can use it as a cradle for a baby. That's right, it is a full-size cradle. Fits right next, just imagine it, right there next to your bed, your, your little newborn or maybe your grandchild could be sleeping in it. They love to rock and adults love to rock as well, which brings us to a rocker recliner, also donated by Otterville Hardware and Furniture. So again, some great furniture items up for bid and also an upholstered couch from Ottaville Hardware and Furniture. We really have a lot of very nice items from Ottaville Hardware and Furniture. We've got another upholstered couch, which we don't show there. It's a lighter color, floral design. And we have another leather set from Ottaville Hardware and Furniture. This one has an oversized chair. I think it's called a chair and a half as well as a regular sized couch and I think there is an ottoman, an ottoman as to well. go along and with that And of course that that's a, a black set, set. We're currently got the brown set on set with us right now. You can count on a lot of quality furniture at the auction but of course 
Every year brings in unique items, which brings us to this year's edition of Can You Guess It? Auction Game. Don't change that dial! You're watching Guess Which Auction Item I'm Describing! The game show where you guess which auction item I'm describing. I get the name now. It does make sense. Let's meet our contestants! Contestant number one, Andy Lynch and Mini Andy, his son, Nathan. Wave to Nathan. Hi, Nathan. Wave, wave. <clears throat> Contestant number two, we've got, you know Jennifer Beck, we've got Grace Beck and Mini Nathan. Grace and Anna. <laughs> and contestant team number three, it's no breeze to her, it's Veronica Windy. Crickets, crickets, I'm hearing crickets. And Abigail Beck. So, here's how the game works. Your name's Abigail. <laughs> I'll describe an item that's in our auction, and you'll try and guess which auction item I'm describing. So let's play! Guess which auction item I'm describing. Have I said that enough? I've said it enough. Our first item can be used to carry and hold items. They are hand-woven. Their former office is a gigantic version of one of these, and it's now for sale, but not in our auction. We've got a buzz. That's you. <laughs> Any guess? Why were you breaking Shout it bucket? out! <laughs> Your tie. <laughs> the basket. Oh. They're basket made in place. Ohio, Dresden specifically. A Lagenburger basket. A Burger basket collection. Let's look at them. Oh, aren't they uh. gorgeous? Hand woven, Dresden, Ohio. A gigantic oh, yeah. version, 160 times the size of a normal basket, is now for sale if you need an office. <laughs> Our second item is designed to hold a specific clear Pop, or soda, or soda pop, or fountain water, or whatever you call it. The busy and the bubbly. Give me some room. Anna. Um, a pot. A pot. Close, oh. close. These were produced in 1976, honoring our nation's bicentennial. Grace. I didn't click it. Abby. Um, the 7-Up pop cans? Indeed. They are 7-Up pop cans. Yes. They're antiques, but the beverage oh. is still available <laughs> today. What? It'd be 40 years old. That is disgusting. <laughs> I see. The cans are empty. The <laughs> pop is still made. You can buy the pop. That makes more sense. Our third item can mix drinks, smoothies, crush ice, and much, Ooh. much more. It can wash your car. I'm being told it cannot do that. Considered one of the top oh. in its field, Veronica. Oh, it was actually... Oh. Abby! <laughs> Fun mix. The Fun yes! Blender retails for more than $400. I think she's cheating. Do not she's mix cheating. It is not a vitamin mixer. It is a Vitamix. <laughs> and number four, our fourth item. We have four of these. Anna knows. Ten yeah. quarts, two quarts, and two jugs. Jugs! <laughs> <laughs> not jugs. <laughs> can be used to make sauerkraut bottles. Oh. Why in the world would you want to do that? This type of pottery was Why very popular in the 19th going? century. Oh, no. And <laughs> Anna. No, Grace. Grace. I didn't click it. <laughs> well, Anybody, <laughs> shout it out. Nobody knows. Pie. Pie. It is not pie. <laughs> I don't even know the clue. Antique oh, no, crockery. Oh. Antique crockery is the answer. Oh. Is that a restaurant? <laughs> it is not a restaurant. There are the images. Oh. They are oh old pieces of crockery, <laughs> hence <enough>. the antique. <laughs> item number five. <laughs> Our next item. It starts with a riddle. People eat this type of thing for breakfast, but you don't eat these. Eggs. Close. You might expect to see them around Easter hey, time. Quick, quick, this quick, version quick, has quick, a history quick, involving quick, paint brushes. Quick. Abby. Um, it, um, painted eggs. Painted eggs is oh, correct. No, hand, Let's see hand, hand painted eggs. eggs. Oh, hand. Indeed. I, painted I, I eggs. Get that in. Okay. I forgot the eating Item thing. number six. In this year, uh, their record was 12 and 0. They beat Miami in double overtime in the Fiesta Bowl. This item is a piece of clothing commemorating the historic season. Anna? Um, a couch. A couch <laughs> is close, <laughs> but not quite. Abby. <laughs> Some kind of basketball costume thingy is incorrect. Buckeyes. Nathan! Mm. Buckeyes. Buckeyes? It's a Buckeyes mm. jacket oh. from the 2002 season. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? And our final item. 
This oh, item is a gift certificate <laughs> for two hundred dollars from a third generation family business. Abby, Anna. <laughs> They're all blonde. They look the same. Anna. Go for it. Guess something. Anything. Um. And that's what wrong. What was that? We have a buzzer. I didn't know we had a buzzer. Oh, that's a nice effect. We have a buzzer. Not low budget anymore. These items that are sold in this store sparkle and shine. QP Many cheeseburgers. They do sparkle and shine. Many women smile when they enter the shop and most men cry. Nathan? I didn't have an answer. Do you have a guess? <laughs> <laughs> we have a faulty buzzer system. Ice cream. Ice cream is incorrect. You can't shop for clothes, but there are things to wear on the neck, the wrist, uh, the ears, the fingers. Cute. Veronica. Yeah, I just don't know what store. What kind of Bonds? store? She got it right. Ah! Bonds, $200 wow. gift certificate for Vons Jewelry. Yes. We thank them for their donation. <laughs> And thank you all for playing. Can you guess which auction item I'm describing? You didn't for the most part. But that's our game. I'm your host for the sake of my family name. I'm not going to tell you my name. Thanks for watching. Well, you know, what game show would be complete without a trip? And we've got some great trips that will be up for auction on September 10th. And we're going to tell you about some of those coming up right now, including some great stays at bed and breakfasts, including the Glen Laurel Scottish Bed and Breakfast down in the Hocking Hills Scottish Country Inn has been called the premier romantic getaway in the Midwest. The beauty and intimacy of Hocking Hills captured in Glen Laurel's 140 acres. You could win an overnight stay at the Glen Laurel Scottish Country Inn B&B. What a wonderful opportunity there. Well, maybe uh, Holmes County is where you'd rather go. We're going to have a two night stay at the Barn Inn Bed and Breakfast over in Holmes County, Indiana, or in Holmes County, not Indiana, Ohio, Ohio. Right. Holmes County, Ohio. That's right. Uh, step back in time and just enjoy the peace and tranquility. We do have some trips to Indiana as well. First, let's tell you about the Ark Encounter Creation Museum. Tickets for two plus zip line and overnight accommodations in the brand new Ark Encounter. That'd be a great way to spend a weekend with the family. Also going to have a separate package to the Creation Museum. Of course, Creation Museum has been around a lot longer than the Ark Encounter, but it still is an incredible place to visit. That will also be an overnight stay and we'll have tickets for four. What about a little drama, a little travel? Choice Travel Motor Coach Trip scheduled for October 20th. A package includes Motor Coach Travel, Amish style lunch at the Amish Acres and Nepany, Indiana, and the theatrical performance of The Miracle Worker. Of course, the great Helen, Kellen, Helen Keller story. What a great weekend mm. trip to Indiana and Amish country. We have several choice travel bus trips that are going to be included in this year's auction trips, including this one, a Chicago Shopping and Holiday Lights bus trip. Two nights at the Hampton Inn, a downtown parade and fireworks in Chicago, shopping on the Magnificent Mile, and much more. This is for two people scheduled November 18th through the 20th. We're very appreciative of the State Bank for sponsoring this trip. And if Chicago isn't your style, maybe Cincinnati is. Belle of Cincinnati Riverboat, Riverboat Cruise. Cruise the Ohio River during this informative, relaxing, and enjoyable 90-minute cruise. Choose from many available dates and options, including family-friendly events as well as themed cruises. That is sponsored by Faith Investment Services. Thankful to them, a brand new sponsor person for our, uh, our trips this year. Here we go. Here's a family trip to Kalahari. You'll get a $300 gift card, which will be good for any Kalahari overnight accommodations that you'd like to do. I was just there for one of my daughter's birthdays earlier this uh, year, and I tell you, lots and lots and lots of fun can be had there. Perhaps you want something a little bit more relaxing than a trip to Kalahari. Maybe a stop at the Millhouse Bed and Breakfast in Grand Rapids, Ohio. At least two one-night stays available to the B&B &B in Grand Rapids. All right, so you're relaxing at the Millhouse Bed and Breakfast, and it's time for some thrill rides. You can head way south down to Kings Island. We'll have tickets for two, good for next year's season. That is provided by Kings Island, thanks to them. And speaking of thrills, Ken Davis, always enjoyable. WTGN is celebrating their 50th anniversary with a special event. Two tickets to see Ken Davis live in Lima, September the 30th, donated by WTGN.
Isn't it great when you don't have to travel far and you get an opportunity to hear or see great speakers like Ken Davis? Well, Lisa Turkerist is another opportunity. UNOH has donated four tickets to the upcoming Women's Conference, which is September 23rd and 24th at the UNOH Event Center. October, a couple other women's conferences coming up. Becoming a Lovely Lady in Christ will have four tickets, and I understand the keynote speaker <laughs> is sitting right next to me. <laughs> That's and right. then later in October, the Women's New Conference in Sandusky. Hannah Beck will be singing at that event. So two tickets to that event coming up at the auction. So two tickets to the Becoming a Lovely Lady in Christ, two tickets to Women's A New Conference. Well, how about this? Stock car racing. This is brand new. Thanks to Stephen Erlene Sellers for donating this. Mark, this is quite a trip. Absolutely. It's only about two, two and a half hours away. We're talking about the Michigan International Speedway up in Brookline, Michigan. And get a tool around a championship level, high level stock car race in a sprint car. Should be an amazing opportunity. I want to thank Steve and Erlene Sellers for donating the eight trips and eight laps in the stock car. And maybe you want to uh, get outside for Crosshairs, a paintball Nerf package donated by Crosshairs of Lima for you know, indoor, indoor enthusiasts. I think they're building an outdoor place though too. When I drive past, I see they're doing something outside. So it's neat to see that that building being used for good in our community. We're thankful for that. We also have two family memberships to the 2017 season for Prairie View Golf Course in Waynesfield. Memberships good for parents and all kids under the age of 24 living in the house. So another great family opportunity for all the golfers out there. October 8th in Columbus, you can watch Ohio State Buckeyes take on the Indiana Hoosiers. We've got two tickets thanks to Keith and Sheila Westrick who've been donating tickets to the auction every year for the last few years. Very appreciative of that. Absolutely. I also want to thank the Fort Wayne Mad Ants. They have donated tickets for the upcoming season. They'll be celebrating their 10th year in Fort Wayne. High level professional basketball, not that far away. Thank you very much to the Fort Wayne Mad Ants for their donation. And how about some concerts? All we have to do is make a quick jump on US 30 and we can be in Van Wert in no time. Happy Days Live is coming to uh, the area that is one of the many concerts that we will have up for bid from the Nice Wonger Performing Arts Center. Absolutely, the Happy Days Live as well as Sandy Patty, David Phelps, Colton Dixon, three of just the many concert tickets that will be available from Nicewanger at this year's auction, September the 10th, and we continue to have more trips and experiences coming in almost on a daily basis. That's right, I wanna add in a couple more that just came in. Um, you can see we've got the YMCA there, that's going to be a, 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 a partial membership package, but a couple new ones that just arrived. The Habitat House in Logan County, a week stay there, tickets to the Ohio Caverns, a gift package from Marie's Candies, and tickets to the Holland Theater. So an hour from Lima, and you're gonna have a week's vacation. Also, Landmark Tours, which does Christian historical tours, has partnered with us. So we're gonna be bringing you some special tours there. I think we've got a Civil War tour to Nashville that is gonna be added into our trip packages. That Stay sounds, tuned to yeah, find out more. That sounds like a lot of fun. And let's now tour the parking lot for a special race. Thank you, Mark and Jennifer. We're in the TV 44 parking lot just across the way. We will have our tent set up for the auction September the 10th, and all these items will be up for bid, including in the middle, you see Anna with her stylish sunglasses and Hello Kitty helmet. Those won't be up for bid, but that FDR era wheelchair will be. She'll be racing along with her uh, escort, Abby. Grace has the Atlantic Coast Cruiser as she waves to the crowd. Ben Reif, uh, not a game show host, he is a bike rider. Response recumbent is what we call that apparatus. And Veronica Wendy on the Raleigh Metro M7. They're going to take at least two laps. We'll see if we give them more. On your marks, get set, go! They're going around the parking lot at least two times. Nathan, I hear you have a joke that's appropriate for this race. What's the joke? What kind of baboon can fly? What kind of baboon can fly? Because these bike racers need to fly. What do you What do you think? I don't know. I, um, a hot air baboon. A hot air baboon. And talk about lots of air behind him. That is Ben Rife. Veronica Wendy, I think, needed a pit stop here as Anna is trying to reach the trees. They are running a race to win the prize. One more lap. We're going to give you one more lap as they go around. Nathan, do you have a Bible verse for us? Quickly, go. Um, I, I don't know. That's okay. They run the race to win the prize for which Christ Jesus has called us heavenward. 
Look at this win by Anna and Abby. Ben Rifle coming second on the recumbent recliner, looking oh so stylish. Nice race by Grace, and we lost Veronica. So the bike is just fine. Veronica just needs to work on her bike riding skills. What a great day here at the TV44 parking lot. You can race your own bike if you get back on September the 10th and win one of these fine things. Then you, you get, get in touch with the other folks who will win the, the wheelchair, the recumbent, the two bikes, and you can have your own race right here in the TV44 parking lot. Bicycles, one mode of transportation. Of course, cars, another mode of transportation. And we will have more cars up for auction coming up on September 10th. Expecting uh, Tom All to donate uh, vehicles as he has generously done in the past. So if you want to come on out and, and perhaps pick up a new vehicle, September 10th is the uh, date. And we're running out of time, but we wanted to make sure you knew about a few more of our unique items that will be up for bid coming up on September the 10th on the TV44 auction. Burgess Farms and Feeds has donated a year's worth of food for your animal it includes a horse hay and pasture evaluation which is worth $50 a bag of feed per month plus they are produce farmers so they're going to throw in a box of produce value of $215 you know earlier we talked about a gift certificate from Vons we've also got some jewelry that'll be up for bid as well including a quarter carat diamond ring wouldn't that look uh, perfect on your special lady's hand how about this? Whether you're young or old, but if you like Hello Kitty, this would be for you. This is really, the picture doesn't do it justice. It is a diamond gold Hello Kitty watch, and it's quite eye-catching when you see it in per person. We also have got depression glassware. It's not going to make you feel sad. It's <laughs> dated back from the 1930s. Really some exquisite glassware. You see a gold set. We also have got a blue set. There's also some red glassware as well. So really some, some beautiful items as well. You know, the one of the things I just love about the TV44 auction is you never know what is going to be here. This year we have an old record player. That's just one of the many antique items that have been donated. You just got to come out and see some things that you have not seen for years or maybe never seen before in your life. Certainly some very beautiful items and also Look at this, a microscope, so some scientific items as well. So really some great things, including a really unique writing desk. This desk has become one of my little favorite things that we may have to bid against each other for this one. <laughs> this is an antique writing desk. This pulls out, I'm not sure how well you can see this at home. Uh, drawer pulls out, but then look at this. The top opens up and you can use it as a stand for your book or you can just completely close the entire thing and then you have a flat top. You're not going to find this at Walmart or at your <laughs> local <laughs> furniture store. I guarantee this is a rare find and we've got it here at the, at the TV44 auction. Many, many more items, of course, will be available. This is just a small sample of all that will be under the big tent coming up on September the 10th. Well, the girls say that auction day is one of their favorite days of the year, and I imagine that Nathan and Anna think it's pretty fun as well. So let's throw it back to Grace, Abby, Nathan, and Anna. Wow, that is a lot of great items. What do you think, Anna and Nathan? Good. <laughs> Are you excited about the TV44 auction? Definitely, Anna, yes. Be sure to visit WTLW.com regularly to view our updated pictures of donated items. Our goal is to add it to it almost every day. And remember, donations are accepted five days a week, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Call ahead for any other drop-off days and times. It also helps to call ahead if you are going to need several people available to help unload. And before we go, we have one final message for you. Join us for the TV44 auction, September 10th. Donate your car, boat, motorcycle, or mower to the TV44 auction. You'll benefit from a tax deduction, but more importantly, you'll be part of the ministry of TV44. Call today to find out more.